What's up guys, it's Barrett, and today I wanted to talk about a concept I like to call the magic three frets. And believe it or not, the magic free three frets on a guitar are the second fret of the high E, the third fret of the high E, and the fifth fret. So F sharp, G, and A of the high E string. So why are those the magic three frets of the guitar? Well, it's really, they're really not, but it's cool to think of it that way because when you play the chords D, C add nine, and G, which are very, very popular chords, uh, anyone who learns guitar knows those three chords work really well together. So if you're just like strumming or something, Everyone knows that that's like the go-to for anybody. Uh, your D, so open, you can do open A if you want, open D string, uh, second fret, third fret, second fret, that's how you play a D chord, right? Then C add nine, you can do it different ways. You can do third fret, A string, second fret, D string, open, third fret, third fret, or you can just do um, third fret, mute the D, and then open G, third fret. And then G, obviously, so third fret. You can put the, fret, the second fret in there if you want. From the two threes down here, or you can just do regular three, three. I have another video if you'd like to learn more about G. But the reason why these three frets are magical is because you can use these three frets to make those three chords sound that much interesting. So let's check it out. So let's just take D for example. So D already has the second fret in the chord. So to put the third fret in there, we put the pinky in there. Most people know about that one. So in other words, you can go back and forth with your pinky and do stuff like that between the second and the third fret. But you can also, a less common known one is the fifth fret which you kind of have to go open, open, second, third, fifth fret, like that. That's a really cool voicing because it gives you that nice A on the top of the chord. Especially if A is on the bottom of the chord too. So that's the magic three frets. Second fret, regular D chord. Third fret with the pinky. In the fifth fret. So what do you do as a musician? You learn how to play around with that like oh yeah and you can also do open. So now if I go to my C chord it already has a third fret in the chord but I can choose to use my first fret on the second fret and get this nice sounding, ooh, I love that chord, man. So if you can't tell what I'm doing, it's just a C add nine chord, third fret, mute, open, third fret, and then second fret with my first finger. That's beautiful, barely anybody uses that chord. And then back to the third fret for the regular C add nine. And then you can also do, Fifth fret, takes some getting used to with that stretch in there. Fifth fret, third fret, open, mute, third fret. But you can play around with those three with the C add nine chord. Now this also works with finger picking. Say I'm like. Then you can go to the G chord, do the same thing. Third fret's already in the chord. But you can do second fret, I mean fifth fret. And you can also do a G major seven by doing the second fret.
So, moral of the story is, if you know your D chord, C add nine, and your G chord, now you actually know a lot more chords because you just change the highest note of the chord. To one of these magical frets. Open, second fret, third fret, or fifth fret. <laughs> Thank you.